Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Viva La Pink Posh. So as you guys can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this phone booth from scratch. It was not pink. I had to paint it. I had to build it. I had to do the flowers. Literally everything by myself I did, but I'm in love with the way it came out. I'm just upset because today is not sunny. It's usually always sunny here, but today it's not sunny. So I'm not able to use the booth which sucks because I did my makeup, I got dressed. I was ready to take my pictures in my new booth, but the weather doesn't permit. So I'm just gonna go in the house and take pictures. Of course, I'm not gonna let this makeup and outfit go to waste. But yeah, if you are interested in seeing how I created this phone booth, just keep on watching, guys. Okay, guys, so we are going right into the video. I'm going to go ahead and tape up the windows. This was a very lengthy process. It literally took me like a month to get this booth ready because I had to build it. And it's metal and it's very heavy. So, yeah, I built it completely by myself, not to add that. So, yeah, I'm just going to tape up all of the windows and put newspaper over the spots that I don't want to be painted. And then I'm going to go ahead and start spray painting it. I'm using a pink spray paint from Walmart. I used about a total of 10 cans, which actually was not enough, <laughs> but it worked out. I think it worked out perfectly because the booth came out very beautiful, literally perfect. So you guys are just going to see the entire process of me spray painting the booth. Um, I wasn't able to include like the process of making the flower wall, but it was super easy to do. So just keep watching, guys. Okay, guys. So now that we have pretty much done all the sides okay. this side and this side I have to take off all of the newspapers that I have on the windows and we're gonna put the newspaper on the inside so that the inside can be painted pink um, this wall I'm not gonna paint pink which is funny because on the other side is actually not painted pink because it's going to be facing the house anyway and it's not going to be seen and in the inside this is going to be full of flowers i'm going to put a foam board that already has the flowers on it so i'm not having to like glue the flowers individually onto the door so it's going to be on the foam board so we just have to paint this door this door and also this door cover the windows and the flowers will be the last thing and of course um the top closure part is on there but i still have to attach this one and the two sides one so i'm just gonna paint those while they're off easier for me so yeah that's the update now let's tape the inside and paint the inside okay so here i'm just removing the newspaper and i'm going to use that same newspaper to tape the inside of the booth hey guys happy tuesday it's tuesday or wednesday i honestly don't know um i think it's tuesday yesterday was monday apparently but this is where we are today so you guys know the outside is done today i painted the inside so this is pretty much done again this is going to be covered with flowers so i was not going crazy with that so i was able to finish painting the inside i actually ran out of spray paint and i don't know when i'm going to run to walmart to get more paint but because i still have to paint the loan signs i have three of them and i also have to paint the top part <sighs> yay more painting but yeah this is the process that we are going to again today is tuesday so i'll come back to you guys once i'm done the flower wall and i'll just keep updating you guys through the entire process okay guys so it ended up raining outside so we are now in the house and we're going to be working on the flower back wall i'm trying to like kill two birds with one stone I was just spray painting, but it started raining, so I had to come in. Now we are doing this flower wall. As you guys know, when you do flower walls, you have to separate the flowers from the stems, and we have to glue each flower individually. It's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be totally worth it. So I will come back to you guys once I have like a 
portion of it done just so you guys can see how it's coming out hey guys so today is wednesday it's the next day so the booth is pretty much done well it is done um i have the two side panels here that need to be attached one on this side and one on that side and we are done the back panel i only spray painted the back because literally the back of the booth is not going to show at all because it's going to be covered with nothing but flowers you guys i am absolutely obsessed with the way it came out i went to home depot yesterday not, not home depot well, i did go to home depot to get the paint completely sold out and then i went to walmart which is where i originally got this spray paint from and they had one can left which was literally perfect to spray paint the side panels um i still have the top piece but i'm not gonna put that in because i feel like it's going to restrict the sun from coming down inside of the booth and it's gonna make like the inside of the booth dark which i don't want i want the flowers to kind of pop so yeah that is the update for today again today is wednesday so um it's actually lunchtime, so i have to go in and feed the kids and after i do that i'm gonna start working on my flower wall so yeah this booth should be done by the end of this week and i'm so excited to show you guys the finished booth and take pictures with this oh my god oh and i also want to add that i'm most likely gonna have to have my husband cut off this branch right here because it's kind of obstructing the booth which i don't want so i'm gonna have him cut off that piece and then i will be lit set up my tripod and take pictures but i'm so excited guys so i'll be back to you guys once i am done the flower wall again i think i said that yesterday but i didn't i wasn't able to finish it yesterday but today we will okay guys so we are back and we have the words installed on the top of the booth Oh my god i am completely obsessed already with how it turned out the only thing we have to do is add the flowers in the back and i am gonna do like um a thing of flowers going along the top of the door but that's probably gonna be after i do the back wall because one step at a time guys one step at a time this is like serious seriously like a month process to build this thing and customize it it's been like a month so far so i'm hoping to have this all done by friday hopefully please <laughs> so i'll be back to you guys once the flowers are in hey guys so today is friday friday um i'm still working on the booth of course i just got in some flower vines today they came with leaves on them but i don't want to put leaves on the flower booth so i took the leaves off and I'm attaching some of my flowers and then I have these so I guess these little flowers will be the main focus and I'll just like camouflage those and mix them all together but let me show you guys how the booth looks right now I am done with the little viney part here and that is going to complete the booth I don't want it to be like too overwhelmed omo omo well. <laughs> I don't want it to be too overwhelmed with flowers so yeah that is going to be it now for the reveal to take pictures in it i'm so excited okay, to see I'm how finished. this is going to come out if you are watching this video make sure you check out my instagram so you can see how the pictures came out i know they're gonna be bomb super pink i'm super excited to show you guys so yeah definitely tune into my ig for the pictures